Good morning, pipe smokers. Caught me on my coffee break. Back at you with another one today. Uh, it's pretty bad when you go through your cellar and you pick something out and you're like, I can't remember if I ever did a review on that, if I ever smoked this or not. I thought I did. I went back through five, six years worth of videos and I couldn't find one. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. It's, like I said, I had mentioned before also, I have so many old videos that are copyrighted from having some kind of music at the beginning, a little intro or something, and it got flagged. So uh, I'm gonna have to go back through and uh, redo them videos and show you some of them old ones. But anyway, Cornell and Deal, Five O'Clock Shadow. This one is from 2018. Look at it. Uh, press cake, a Red Virginia's Dark Fire Kentucky and Perique with just the right amount of kick to get you to your next destination. Uh, the tin is bulging. Now, you're not going to be able to see that, but trust me, it's not as bad as some I've had, but it's bulging from the top and the bottom. I, I thought, like I said, I thought I had done this one, but apparently, I, if I did, I didn't record it. I couldn't see nothing, so. smell of vision <sighs> hate them stupid paper pucks they put in there <laughs> can't even get it out one there's two There's three. Well, that's nice. A piece of gray hair, probably from Jeremy Reeves' beard. <laughs> right, uh, right there where my finger is there. See it? Right there. Look at it. That's nice. <clears throat> when they say cake, there's the cake. <clears throat> What in the heck? There's literally contaminants in this. <clears throat> Do you ever seen tobacco that has red in it? Look right there in the center of that cake. A piece of red string or something. Here it is. No idea what that is. <laughs> First there's hair, and now there's a piece of red string or something. There it is on my hand, if you can see that. No idea, maybe a... <laughs> There's no mold, and there isn't much smell either. I don't know. I'm not too impressed with this already, I tell you, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> I'll be back with my honest thoughts. Not real warm here today, but... It's going to be in the 50s. Wind isn't blowing very much right now. Just I'm happy to say it tastes better than what it's looked like for sure. 
how green the yard is. I've cut grass once now with the tractor and then my wife loves to cut grass with a mower and she cut it with a mower there just actually a day or two ago. Twice already. I wanted to be mad at this blend for the presentation <laughs> and apparent contamination, but uh, it's, it's good. I don't know if that piece of red was a piece of a stem. I've never seen a red stem before though, so I don't know what it was. The Virginias in this blend are slamming. Very nice to the retro. And to me, it's Virginia, Perique, and then the Kentucky. The dark fired is there, but it's not overpowering, which is what I like. Wow, nice blend. I said that was from 2018. I haven't heard a lot of talk about this one. Uh, like I said, I was just digging through my cellar and uh, trying to find some things. <laughs> I, uh, to date, I went through some of my tobacco reviews playlist and I'm like over, I think 300 or something like that. Like I said, a lot of them are copyrighted where you can't even see them. So I'm gonna have to get back through. This is very nice. Uh, it's that deep, rich, bold uh, red Virginias. You're getting the sweetness, you're getting spice. I'm getting leather, earth. Tangy fruits. The pepper's there, but it's, it's like a sweet pepper it's not like a black or a red pepper it's i don't i don't know how to explain it it's it's very nice i was uh, messing with my pontoon this week we've had a couple nice days I'm going to show some of you that are interested in boats and like the fish. I'm going to show you some pictures. I'll do a video tomorrow of uh, when I first got the pontoon, what the floor plan looked like inside and what it looks like now. I've done a lot to it. Basically, it was a fishing barge, a party barge for fishing. And basically, I turned it in from fishing to more of a family oriented with I put new furniture all around it. And it, still, you can fish anywhere in it. It's just not... I took the live well out of it. Didn't work anyway. I didn't want to buy another pump. I don't use live wells. I took a couple single fishing chairs out of it and put some long bench seats in it. I'll show you that tomorrow. Hmm. If you've had this one, leave your comments below. I really like this one. One I'm going to have to stock up on for sure. Hope everybody has a happy, wonderful holiday. Easter, if you celebrate it. I'll see you boys and girls tomorrow morning.